Welcome back. We've had quite a bit of sunshine, but the temperatures just didn't follow the same path. You see the amount of sunshine we have. The big story today has also been the breeze. It's been gusty out there. Temperatures held in check quite a bit because of that northwest wind. We're at 54, about 10 degrees to 15 degrees below the average, even 20 degrees below average as you go into some of the hill towns. So a seasonably cool afternoon. Still, though, we're dry. We are sunny. Notice those wind gusts, too, out of the northwest, anywhere from 30 to 35 miles per hour. Wind going to play a bit of a role in the forecast for tomorrow, but we lessen that just a little bit. We increase the temperatures just a little bit, so it becomes a fairly nice day overall. Right now, we are scanning completely dry. There are a couple of snowflakes possible in some of the highest elevations of southern Vermont, even a couple of raindrops here or there. I think that we remain completely dry into tonight. There are a few lake effect showers out towards southern and uh, central and western New York moving in our general direction. Still, though, these are going to dry up by the time they reach us, so nothing to worry about tonight. And really over the next couple of days, we remain pretty dry. So there they are drying up. Our future cast model this evening keeps us clear. The winds calming down quite a bit. Futurecast waking us up with some uh, sunny skies, but it will be chilly tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning that is, and then you're back to the sunshine, full sunshine for not only Wednesday afternoon, but pretty much all day Thursday too. We do have a freeze warning that goes into effect officially 2 a.m. Wednesday morning into 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. Everyone in really all of southern New England affected by this freeze warning. So if you've already put the plants in the ground, you're going to want to take care of those, especially the more sensitive plants. 34 in overnight low in Springfield, 30 in Worthington, 28 in Greenfield, 32 in Orange. These are the type of temperatures you have to watch pretty closely for some of those, uh, let's say, cabbages, where if you hit 28 degrees, that cabbage will be uh, unfortunately toast for this upcoming harvest. Uh, notice those gusts tomorrow, also gusting over 30 miles per hour, a good bit of sunshine along the way. We're back to near 60 degrees for tomorrow, 10 degrees below average for this time of year. The good news is by the time we get to Friday and Saturday, the cold air retreats and the warmer air starts to move back in. That's exactly what we have on the seven day forecast, likely a first warning weather day on Friday with the chance of some thunderstorms, but notice temperatures back into the 70s, returning to the 70s into next week too. So hopefully Jordan, we can flip the switch on a more mild spring moving forward. Back to you. Looking forward to Saturday.